Collard Valley Cooks coming to you live in the Collard Valley Cook Kitchen. Tonight we are doing a recipe sent to me by Betty. She don't have her last name on here. She says a lady she worked with 40 years ago gave her this recipe and it's a keeper. So we are going to check it out tonight. Now I am going to pre-boil some pasta before I add it to my uh, final product just to save time. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put some ground beef in the skillet and start letting it get, start letting it brown. Now, me and Chris, uh, sometimes we do use a little turkey mixed in, but I don't like to use turkey. I personally just don't like all turkey completely. I'll mix half and half. Uh, because turkey's texture is so different than ground beef. It's, it's real mushy, and um, it's just really different. So I like to mix them up, but I'm actually out of turkey, so we're using all ground beef tonight. So what we'll do is slice this up a little bit of onion to go in here. The recipe didn't call for onion, but I'm gonna throw some in. Maybe because she made it for kids, I'm not sure. Because it's kind of like the glorified hamburger helper, I think. And um, that's what it's going to be like when it's over. So I'm just, I've just got a half of an onion. Now I'm going to slice it and throw it in my beef and let it cook while the beef is cooking. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Thursday. We are. And we are getting a little hungry. Mm -hmm. We had a chicken for lunch, beef for supper. So you're just going to grill this beef? Till it's nice and there's no pink left. So it takes a few minutes to get it done. And you need to separate it good so that it's good in the recipe. And we're going to get over here and mix up a homemade chili seasoning because I didn't have any. Okay, I'm going to show them that in a minute, Chris. Okay. One more. Okay. There you go. Chris is trying to take Get over. I'm getting ahead. <laughs> All right, says so put in a tablespoon of chili powder. We're just making our own chili seasoning because I don't have a packet of it, and this recipe calls for a packet of it. Wow. Mm -hmm. stuck. It just lacks just a tiny bit being a tablespoon. There we go. All right. That's the biggest ingredient because it's chili. Mix. A teaspoon of ground cumin, which is a lot like chili powder in my opinion. I love these measuring spoons because they get down in these small um, things. All right, there's my cumin. This is garlic powder. Calls for a half teaspoon of that. It smells good just like that. You think? Mm -hmm. Onion powder. You get a half teaspoon of that. I'll take this lid off of it. A teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, which is just a hair. Hmm. It's not much. No, it ain't. And that is chili seasoning, folks. So we made our own for our recipe. That was super simple, wasn't it? Now we'll get over here and mix up our ground beef some more. And I need to turn it a little bit. Get 
Let them get nice and toasty on both sides. That water over there is starting to boil, ain't it, Chris? Yes. We're going to drop some pasta. As soon as I get all this turned over. Pretty good. All right, we'll drop this and then we'll we'll chop it a little bit more. We're going to make about two cups. Let me turn this light on for y'all. About two cups of uh, elbow macaroni. Now you can throw this all in the pot together and let it cook, the macaroni cook. But because we are live, we're going ahead and jump starting the macaroni so that y'all don't have to wait for a very long time. Macaroni jump start. Lord, I meant to put on a apron. Apron, and I forgot. And away from it, I don't want to get splattered with grease. And I love it. It is made in the USA. Made in the USA. It even says it on it. It's called, a, it's called an Easy Does It. I put it on the website. It does do a really good job. I decided to make something with cans so that I can show y'all how smooth it works. It does a really good job. So, if you need one, a new one, you go. and you want one that's American made, go on the website and get you one. I think what we're going to do next is drain this beef and then we're going to start adding the good stuff to it. I wasn't thinking about this when I used this pan. It's hard to transfer because it's heavy. This is a very heavy skillet. It's cast iron. It's not something you want to pick up and pour something out of too much. Maybe I can do it. You want me no. to do it? No, I'll just sit it right here and do it with a big spoon. Okay. Watch out. Do most of it with a big spoon. So, I am draining the beef. Now, me and Chris, you know, are watching our weight. Chris has lost a ton of weight. How much weight have you lost, Chris? Uh, about but, 23 pounds. Right? Yeah, he's outdone me. And uh, I'm kind of at a lull. But these are some of the things we're doing to help our weight. One of those, we've always drained our beef. But years ago when we were younger, I would always rinse it in some water. And of course, people are saying, oh, you're washing all the flavor off of it. But when you're putting something in a recipe that's got as many spices in it as we are, you're not going to miss it. That hamburger grease is not something you have to have. Oh, Lord, no. Okay. So, with that said, we are draining this first, and then we're going to rinse it. And I'm just going to shake most of the excess off of it, and then I'm just going to rinse it. So, most of the grease that came off of it... Didn't have much, did it? Nope. Uh, will not go down the drain, but now I am going to rinse my beef. Put it back in the skillet, and believe it or not, it makes it have half the calories that it did before you rinsed it. It's crazy the difference it makes. So, rinse it. If you want to look great like my husband. 
He's looking good. All right. We're going to get this over to the eye over here. Watch out, Fabio. My dogs are in here tonight. They're getting more and more interested. Yes. I am going to steer this a little bit. All right, now we're going to start putting all the good stuff in here. Our chili seasoning. One can of fire roasted tomatoes. And I got fire roasted diced with garlic. garlic. Now, um, it called for tomato sauce and I don't have any. So what I'm using is crushed tomatoes and it called for one can, small can like this, 14 and a half ounce. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna pour my crushed tomatoes in here because it's almost the same thing as tomato sauce, but even better. Even better. And add it. And there's one can of that. So you can use crushed tomatoes if you've got them. Or you can use tomato sauce. Or you could use a, a thing of tomato paste, add enough water in it for it to be four and a half ounces. So it's kind of like a chili mac kind of yeah. thing. It, it's going to be good, good, good. All right. Now we also add a can of kidney beans. What? Yep. And I don't know if she says to drain them or not. Let me look. She don't say to. I guess she throws them in there. Go for it. Hmm. Now, that does have a good bit of liquid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put our pasta in there. And we'll let it cook the remaining, the remaining uh, way through. Let me, let me just drain it real quick and this liquid, and this tomato sauce. We just don't want you, we didn't want y'all to have to wait for a really long time. Yeah, normally you would just put the pasta in there, but we were trying to. But because we're live and it's a Shorten it up show, a little bit. It's not going to melt that thing, is it? What thing? That thing you just set it on. Well, no, that's a cloth, Chris. Oh, it's a cloth. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was one of those plastic things. No. Huh. My husband's making sure I don't do something crazy. Which is good, because lots of times I do, don't I, Chris? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to stir this macaroni in here. And she says this is a keeper. That she got this recipe 40 years ago. Betty, I hope you're getting to watch tonight. You make your recipe. I'm trying to make some easy recipes for mamas and daddies and even grannies or whoever takes care of all these kids that are back in school. Kid-friendly stuff. This is a kid-friendly recipe. But the cool thing is it's got the fire-roasted to tomatoes in there, which makes it a, a step up. And it's got all that chili seasoning that we created. It's going to be good, y'all. It looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. It's not too soupy. No. It's going to be just perfect. So, yes. Whoops. Yes, you need the kidney bean juice. Okay. So, I'm just going to cover it for a second. And, uh, and then we're going to give it a try. It, it, this should be ready in a matter of like three minutes or so, but I am just going to let it simmer just a minute. Um, I, my lid's right there by you, baby. And then we're going to eat. All right. So, that's it, y'all. We got time to put stuff up. So, I'm glad y'all... Um, joined us tonight live in this kitchen. It's so funny because I say uh, so all the time. And I had recorded my mama giving me that recipe for her sponge cake. 
and she would say, so, and she would say, okay, okay, throughout it, and it sounded just like me, huh. or I sound just like my mama. What was that? I don't know. My dogs are in there. All right. <sighs> I guess we're not going to have any bread with this. Well, it's because, got pasta. Yeah, because it's got pasta in it. So I guess I'm going to get me out of bowl. And I wanted to let it simmer just a couple of well, minutes. We'll just keep you got anything interesting you want to tell them, Chris? No. I can say thank you to a couple of viewers we right quick. Because I got a couple of gifts. I got the can opener and... Um, send me some Tetley tea. Ah. She said it reminded her of me. So, um, thank you for the Tetley tea. And that's from Susan. And then, uh, Sheila is the one that sent me the can opener. Hmm. So, a big shout out to Sheila and Susan. The two S's. Two good gifts. Yes, it is. Two nice gifts. Very thoughtful. and We appreciate it so much. Last night I had fun opening these presents. Marcia looks tired. I guess she is. All right, let's dip us out some of this and give it a try. Now, of course, you can let your simmer for a little while, but really you would just simmer it long enough to cook the noodles, which would be about 10 minutes or so, I would think. But because we pre-cooked our noodles, it's not going to take us long. And I bet this is even better the next day after it mm. sat in the refrigerator and marinated in these spices. So let's give it a shot. Of course, I get it on the side of my bowl. It looks good. It does, don't it? Kid-friendly dinner. Me and Chris can still be kids, can't we, Chris? Mm-hmm. I'm sure she still eats it for herself, too. We can be friendly to kids. This would be good to take to potlucks. Yeah. Wouldn't it? And um, look at it. It's really pretty. Yeah. I'll show them a nice picture of it. It's really good. All righty. And it's not that bad. I mean, it's really not that bad for you because it doesn't have a real cream. Oh, you're supposed to serve it with sour cream. That's uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. I, we I was just here. thinking it doesn't have a creamy base. It doesn't have cheese and all that stuff. Right. And I know all y'all are going to want to put all that on there, but me and Chris are trying to be better. But we will put a little sour cream because she says that's what you're supposed to do. She said serve it with a dollop of sour cream. Even better looking. So let's taste it with the sour cream in it. I bet it's good. I love sour cream in my chili anyway. <laughs> chili Mac. That's pretty much what it is. Chili Mac. It didn't have a name. I was going to see if I would add anything or subtract. But I mean it's just salty enough. It's not too salty. The sour cream gives it an even better flavor to me. You can make this a day ahead, couldn't you? You can make it a day ahead easy. That is really good. It's so simple. You got a serving of beans, serving of tomatoes, your pasta, and your meat. One meal all in one. I hope you guys try this. And um, she's been making it for 40 years. Thank you so much for your recipe, Betty. Me and Chris are going to enjoy it tonight. And probably tomorrow again. Thanks for watching. Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like you do sometimes.